Hey guys, it's Jordan with National Speed, and today we're finding out if a ported throttle body adds any power to your Mustang. And the ported throttle body for this test comes from Airflow Solutions. Now, AFS starts with a stock 80mm Mustang GT throttle body and modifies it to improve flow. While the factory diameter is retained, the body itself has been smoothed out, and the profile of the throttle blade shaft has been greatly reduced. AFS claims 21% increase in CFM, and on paper, this should definitely result in some gains. So with that, let's find out what the dyno has to say. But before we get into that, let's go over some important details on our testing methodology here. Now, pretty much all late model Fords have a feature that's called dynamic advance. And with this, the ECU is constantly trying to add or subtract ignition timing to optimize performance for conditions as well as fuel. And what that means is that without any change to hard parts or the calibration strategy, you can see some pretty significant swings from dyno run to dyno run. And it goes without saying that that's a pretty glaring variable for what needs to be a controlled test. So with that in mind, for every hard part that we change out, we'll be optimizing the calibration and then disabling dynamic advance for each dyno pool. This means that the only difference we're showing in the graphs is from the throttle body porting alone, and not from the ECU changing ignition timing on its own from run to run. All these runs were completed within a 30 minute window, on the same dyno, with the same calibrator, with very similar conditions. It's about as controlled as we can get without a laboratory setting. All right, with that all said, let's get started. First, our test car is equipped with our Stage 2 naturally aspirated package, which includes a JLT performance air intake system and stainless power long tube headers connected to the stock exhaust. On 93 octane, our baseline of the stock throttle body comes in at 459.33 wheel horsepower and 421.69 pound feet of torque. With the car still strapped down, John installs the Airflow Solutions 80mm ported throttle body. and Vlad dials in the calibration, then deactivates dynamic advance. All right, we do have some gains here, coming in at 462.62 wheel horsepower, and 423.27 pound-feet. Peak gains of 3.29 wheel horsepower and 1.58 pound-feet of torque. All right, guys, well, there you have it. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more. And as always, if you have any questions at all, we're happy to chat. Thanks for watching.